Hello, I am Tara from livingonadime.com, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook, Eat Better, Spend Less. What you may not know is that in my former life, I used to be a florist. So today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous Dollar Tree wreath. Everything here was from Dollar Tree. Well, I did use a couple ribbon that I had left over from another project. Everything else can be purchased at Dollar Tree. Let's get started. I got everything I needed at Dollar Tree. I got my wreath base. I got my garland ties. I got all of my flowers my ribbons. Now I am going to be using a couple of ribbons that I had on hand just because I want to get them used up. So I'm just going to wing this. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing ha, with this one. So let's just get started and see what we can make. First you're going to take your garland ties and you're going to put them in between. Now I think these are a little long actually. Okay, never mind. My son walked off with the tire with the wire cutters, so we're just going to roll with it here. Okay. So, you just take and just twist it once. And you're going to put at least 3 on each section, okay? And I do one on the outside, one on the inside, and one in the middle. So you're going to have all your ties all over your whole wreath. You may need to add some more. We'll see in between as we go. But we're going to get started with our ribbon. So we're going to start with our mesh first. And we're going to cut it in uh, maybe six inch pieces, give or take. So we're going to cut all that up. Maybe eight inch pieces might be a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my wire mesh. I'm gonna scrunch it up like so. Okay, then I'm going to add gold ribbon. I'm gonna scrunch it up. So you want your biggest, whitest ribbon first, then your next whitest ribbon. And then I'm gonna add the next ribbon. Then maybe a fancier ribbon. Okay, then you're gonna add a smaller ribbon. <coughs> okay. Now, I would probably go ahead and trim up these ribbons before I put it on there, but since I already have it in my hand, I'll show you how to do it both ways. So, you're gonna take your ribbon you're going to hold it down and you're just going to pull your tie. Make sure your ribbons are all facing the right way. You're just going to twist it, just like a twist tie. There's nothing special about it, okay? So then you can go in and trim and we're going to do this all the way around the whole wreath. So I've got all of my ribbons wrapped on here. I did wrap a few extras um, of the tool or mesh, whatever you guys want to call it. And I haven't fluffed anything yet, but I'm going to go in and start putting in some of my filler here before I start fluffing it. So first what I do is I push all of the greenery up so that it's a more compact stem. Okay. Then we're going to cut the stem off down here. Then we get some hot glue and we're going to tuck it in like so. Should 
everything up. Now you usually want to do things in thirds. Let's see, where's my top going to be? Probably that'll be my top. So do another one over here. We're starting to get there. So now we're going to fill in, see how we have holes here? We're going to start filling in the holes. Now we're going to go and start fluffing, fluffing our bows. So just pull them out, pull them up, just like so. Just find where they are and pull them up. Pull them up. Just go through and fluff all your bows. Okay, so now we need to look and see where we have a few more holes right here and here. So what I'm going to do is move that over there and fill in a little bit on the top here. Put my Merry Christmas right here in the center. So let's find it's in the center. Okay, so there's my Merry Christmas. So then I'm gonna make a bow. Since my Merry Christmas is dominant gold, I'm gonna put the gold underneath and have my bow be dominant red. So you just scrunch them two together, make a loop, scrunch the two together. Keep your ribbon going straight. Scrunch the two together. Scrunch the two together. the two together okay so then we'll take a tie tie it on the back just like a twist tie so then you're gonna fluff your bow two tails there. Then I'm going to hot glue my other two tails on. Okay. Then we're going to add just a little bit more bling. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this easy Dollar Tree wreath. I think it was around, it was less than $10 for everything. Please leave a comment in the description below if you make your wreaths with Dollar Tree items. Sometimes they can be a little hard to find. I did have to go to a couple of stores, 
but I eventually found what I was looking for and was super happy with the end result. Please like, subscribe, share, and give me a big thumbs up, and please visit us at livingonadime.com. Mm -hmm.